guys, what's up? It's your boy Ritz and today I'm joined here with Ben. So today we're going to be showing you how we do our shopping for our house. So we're just doing some spontaneous shopping today. So you guys are going to come along with us and let's see what we're going to buy today. We're going to buy a lot of fish because Rez loves fish. We're at the fish bazaar. So you know, we're Bengali people, we like the fish. So today we're going I'm to so buy excited. the fish. I'm so excited. New shop. So we're going to go and check it out and see what we find there. If you guys know what Hamlen is, please comment down below. And What's that? I keep telling him, he always keeps forgetting. It's that star fruit. Oh, okay, My okay, okay. favourite, especially when I went to Bangladesh. We used to eat it with them. Nuna Mori. Mm. So we're gonna try to find some here. It's probably like not gonna be as nice as the bandage ones, but all right, guys. So we're at Home Bargains right now. Rose really wants a mirror. So I got this Ab Wheeler roll thingy. If you guys know, that's like normally 15 10 pounds. This is five pounds, and I got a bath robe. What's it called? A bath form over here. So Rez really wants mirrors. So, guys, we went to Home Bargains and we got a few things. Right now, we are going to drop this off to the car and go to food bar over here. We have got some kebab and some burgers. So there's a lot of different things here. So I think that they got, yeah, they got peri peri naga sausages, guys. So we ended up getting this fruit as well. The guy put a discount even though Sharon. we didn't ask. Sharon fruit. Sharon fruit. You like Sharon? We got some mixed pickle and some seasoning. I think we might need another trolley. We ended up getting three of these spicy ramen noodles because Rez loves it. Got these biscuits and then rest wants some sweets. Now, which sweets do you want? Only one pound for marshmallows, bro. That's good. Do you want that one? What about these? Uh, <laughs> they're so small, but so nice. It's 99p. We're getting a few boxes. All right, what else are you getting? Um, I'm getting this for my sister. Hopefully, I remember to give it to her. Oh, I might eat it. I want the fizzy stuff. I love the fizzy stuff. So, I went for these. If you guys know how nice these are, I used to love them as a kid. <laughs> And then Rose went for this. This and this. Wait, which one? Oh, okay, yeah. She went for these both of these. Favorites. These ones are mine. It's not really focused, but yeah, these I love these other kids. Comment down below which ones you guys like. Rose wants to get Goa, but I'm convincing her not to because she's not gonna have teeth by then. Show it. What do you want? I like the I like the thin shredded, but they're easier to chew and yeah. it's like nice to chew on. And I want the sweet thingy. Oh, this one's the sweet thingy. Is that, is that the one? Yeah, I'm not gonna say it because if I get it wrong, she's gonna blame me. What? But yeah, that's the Mita stuff, the nice sweet stuff. Okay. I tried to convince her, nice but she, if Rez starts losing her teeth or it starts getting red, you know why? <laughs> Rez, I have a question for you. If you were a fish, which fish would you be? I'd be an Elishamas. Which one's Elishamas? Uh, I don't know what it is. Alright, if I was a fish, I would be a nice prawn, but it's too small. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll find it. We'll show you guys. Elishamas stinks, but apparently it's very large. Yeah, it matches you. Oh my god, look at that guys. So Rez wants this, so we're gonna Imagine get this. Imagine one of them starts moving. That's Imagine it just screaming. jumps onto your head. So we upgraded to the trolley and we're gonna get some prawns. So it's three for ten pound, which I think is a good deal. So we're gonna get three of these. Do you want this? Do you want this? Uh, Trolley's filling up fast. You can top this off for me if you want. Oh no, it's fine. So we've got a bunch of samosas, spring rolls. Got some popcorn, chicken, chicken wings. Pretty cool. So now we're done. We came here to get some sanasu. Oh, do you like that stuff? What? The muri. Mm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't, I don't mind it. We got a little sanasu over here, our little Bombay mix. He actually added some naga to it. So <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a spicy one. We did a little answering question for you guys. We asked on Rez's Instagram today. I'm going to put that out over here before both our Instagrams. We asked for some advice questions. So we're going to be answering your guys' advice questions today. Oh, me. I've been replaced. <laughs> I don't get any more love. I can smell the naga through it, Rez. Smell it. Mm, that smells so nice. I can't wait. Come after, try it. after you take a bite, you can't kiss him. I went fuggle as soon as. Oh, I don't know why I just said that. I went crazy as soon as I saw the Santa's man standing outside the shop. <laughs> she was scared that he's gonna run away and go home. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Smell it, guys. <laughs> Let's focus it. All right, so just this was two pound, guys. I remember back in the days when you go to the fun fair, you get a cup for one pound. That's how you know there's even in these kind of stuff, there's inflation. All right, guys, so let's try this. You just wiped the spoon. The guy wiped the spoon. No, he didn't. Well, he touched everything as well. Can you give me a tissue. Let me just wipe my hand as well. Oh, actually. really? Okay. So they put this something called moody inside. Inside these white things. I don't know how to explain it's, it. It's rice puffs. Okay, rice puffs in English. I'm not really too much of a fan of it, but I don't really mind it. So anyway, let's try. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not that much of a fan, but it's alright. Alright, so Naga, Kusana, Sur, Bombay mix, whatever you want to call it, Satni. Wow, you didn't wait for me. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, God. 
Wow, there's green chilies in here as well, guys. I might go red. So negative pregnancy tests every single month. How do you stay positive? So I'm gonna say my perspective as a guy as well. So how do you stay positive when your pregnancy test keeps coming out negative? How do you feel? There is a phase where you feel like this is never gonna happen. We're never gonna get pregnant. This is like the saddest thing ever. It's never really gonna happen. And it's just like, you have that feeling, but there is a day where it will happen and you'll feel like the best feeling ever. And it's just a matter of time. And I would say, just stay strong. It will feel like it's never gonna happen. But inshallah, one day it will happen. Like with anything in life, it's just about consistency. There will be months that you will be sad. There'll be some months where like, you have to wait. And then suddenly you get the end result, isn't it baby? And then you get one of you. You have to remember that everything is written. So when, you're in when you've made the intention, you just have to keep trying until you get the result. And obviously make lots of dua. But everything is written. So it will happen when it's supposed to. That doesn't mm. mean you stop trying. Try your best because that's how things happen. It's hard to stay positive. We kind of went through that a little bit for like one or two months. Yeah, yeah not as much as other people. Yeah, it was nothing. Nowhere near people who try for five years and stuff like that. But we felt a little portion of that. Like, you know, it is hard to stay positive and not let it make you feel down. But at the end of the day, you can't let something make you sad that you're not in control of. Just think about it like that. Like, you're not in control of it. You're doing everything you can. And it's nothing like it's not your fault. You know, just think about it like that. Don't allow yourself to feel too down about it. But obviously, everyone goes through emotions. So it's normal to feel a bit sad. I'd say just think about it like that and don't let it affect you too much. I was laughing because um, the spice is getting to your heart. Yeah, we can have it the next question. How to build a relationship you with your in-laws? You just pick in -laws? that one. Huh? I said, can I pick one? You just pick the first one. Alright, go on, pick another one then. No, you can pick it, it's fine, never mind. How to build a relationship with your in-laws? It's so cute. Is there something you want to say? Are you disturbing us? No. Should we put you in time out? No, say no, you, Daddy. You're going to go to the naughty corner. We're going to put you in the naughty corner. Oh. No, you're going to go to the naughty corner because you're disturbing us. How to build a relationship? As a man, you don't need to try. They bend, they bow down to your feet and say, "Here you go, eat this." Here you go, don't wash your plate. Lift your feet up. Here goes he and food and just eat all day. <laughs> I'm a damn and nice, it's okay. Cause your eyes will massage your feet for you. <laughs> okay, it's just going, but. <laughs> All right, so what I would say is, you know, go and see them as often as you can. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. You know, sometimes it's hard because maybe there's a bit of distance in terms of like traveling. Maybe you're busy with work. Maybe they're busy and then you're busy and it kind of just like clashes. But try and just have a good relationship and try and help them as well. Try and help them with things like, you know, when you come, like bring some things that, you know, you find that they think is cool. Like if there's kids like, and you know, it's a school holiday, like maybe bring some crisps, bring some drinks. You know, you don't have to go all out, but just show that like, you you know you can you should naturally feel that hopefully you should feel like oh these are my family as well yeah and yeah just try and build a strong relationship because this is one that needs to last until basically death right i mean you just gotta as a guy you just gotta treat them like family and they mm -hmm. will like you know automatic thing for a guy you'd have to try that hard i think for a girl it's hard because even if you try your best to fit in you you probably fit in but you won't feel 100% yourself you feel like you're changing yourself a little and stuff it's very hard i'd say stay yourself completely don't change anything don't start doing that extra nice stuff because they're gonna try they're gonna think that's you but it's not you so don't do that be yourself <laughs> be yourself yeah because that's how you're, the person who you be in the beginning is how you're gonna have to be the rest of your life if you don't stand up for yourself if you don't act the way you normally act yeah and you try and be more like you know trying to fit in <laughs> you just need to be yourself because at the end of the day you can only be you and you yeah. can try to fit in and you know try and build a bond but that doesn't mean do yeah. things that they find disrespectful in front of them like they may not like you know they may not like you dressing a certain way so don't change the way you dress but just the same for example in front of them you want to respect them so you cover up a little bit more or just how kind of they like just to like you know make them a bit happy but don't start changing your style changing your life and how you dress and yourself and stuff like that to fit in just be yourself and get to know them because that's the only way you'll be able to fit in if you don't know the people you're not going to, be able to fit in very well no space for our third child and husband won't move out in-law's house basically the husband won't move out the in-law's house every time the woman mentions it even though they're on the third child and there's no space we always end up arguing or he says no any advice so oh wow i would say i don't know what to say to that because that's such a bad situation to be in if your husband doesn't understand you i don't know who else will so yeah to be honest like if there's no space then that, you, you start to feel it it puts a strain on your marriage and you really just can't deal with your everyday life it really affects your relationship as a couple because it feels like everything is on top of your head mm -hmm. you don't have your own space you don't have your own kitchen you don't have your own anything and you just feel like everything is on top of your head and there's so much pressure like because you know in-laws will tell you oh you should do it like this you should do it like that even though 
like generations change and families change people change but like at the end of the day like asian mentality never changes so <laughs> obviously i'm just guessing that you're asian maybe you're not but i would say you know you just need your space i don't know how you can force your husband but at the end of the day islamic islamic is your right so it's your right yeah you will get like some imam from the mosque or someone to try their best come to make him understand him. take him to the mosque instead of getting the whole family involved because it's between you and him basically so maybe try to drag him to the mosque or you know get him on to sit down see him down and then talk to him about it yeah there's a lot i'm sure there's some mufti menk lectures as well that yeah that would tell you want to go to the mosque yeah because at the end of the day your husband islamically is right is to give you your space and your it's your right i mean to have your own space mm. so if you don't have your own space at your in-laws and you want your own space he's supposed to give it he can say like oh you know give me some time i want to save some money yeah you know this is for our own future this is for our own good but then if he's just saying no then it's obviously a red flag because if you have more children it's going to put even more strain on your marriage and yeah. you as a couple you as a family and everything like that so, a healthy situation to live in yeah so that's what i would say any advice on being more confident? I don't think there's anything you can do to become more confident, but okay, that doesn't make sense. Okay, no, that's there's not how a I lot meant. of things you can do. That's not how I meant it. I meant instead of focusing on how to be more confident focus on yourself and focus on how you feel for yourself about yourself in front of people and stuff you automatically become confident you know dress in a way that makes you feel more confident whatever makes you confident <laughs> like some people they need to dress to feel a bit more confident some people need to put a little bit of makeup on to feel more confident some people watch more videos on how to communicate better or use better wordings and stuff to feel a bit more confident to build yeah. a better conversation and stuff so many different things you can do to be a bit more confident my tongue is burning i didn't hear as much yeah. as res anyway yeah. i'm gonna take over i will say there's so many things you can do in in school what the hell is that <laughs> so there's so many things that you can do for example in school present when you need to present if someone if the teacher says like who wants to present say yeah i don't mind because at the end of the day that those stuff build your confidence yep. growing up um, assemblies you want to present just do it group even if it's as a group but just remember at the end of the day nobody cares everybody goes home everyone <laughs> end of the day everyone goes home no one cares they might think about it in the moment and then it's gone strangers especially just live your life and at the end of the day no one really cares no one actually thinks about what you said or what you've done in that moment unless it was really embarrassing but otherwise yeah. a lot of the things that you think everybody cares about no one actually really cares about but you are just overthinking it and, mm -hmm. alhamdulillah and you think everyone cares but no one really cares that's what i would say in terms of confidence i'm not even 100 percent there yet but those are the things that when i look back i would say like they build your confidence so that's our last question that we're going to answer i hope you guys enjoyed this video a bit of a random one but i want you guys to comment down below what videos you want to see next on this channel obviously we're trying to do some challenges trying to answer your guys questions trying to keep you guys entertained so comment down below what you want to see my hands are occupied with him at the moment so that's why i'm sitting like this but anyway thank you guys for watching if you've made this but don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And this is a bit of a spicy one, but I didn't really feel the spice, you know? Feel the mollies? No, no, no. What? You You're trying spice? to feed me just the mollies by itself. You want to feel the spice? No, I don't want a green chili by itself. So thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far to the end of this video, I stopped doing this, but comment down below. If you made it to the end of this video, comment down below a chili emoji, a, a green chili, whatever chili emoji you find, comment it down below. This was a spicy one for Rez mainly. I was a bit occupied Love with it. Him. But I guess Delicious. today I'm feeling how Rez feels when she has to hold him and she's trying to eat at the same time. He's a bit of a sticky one still, isn't it? So thank you to everyone who came up to us. We weren't actually vlogging at the time yeah. that anyone came up to us, but thank you for all coming up to us. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as you know, at the end of every single video, we give a comment shout out to our favorite comment in the last video. So this video's comment shout out goes out to It's Shad. Thank you for liking and comment the last video. If you want to comment shout, out, leave a nice positive comment down below and we might give you a comment shout out in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time and peace. We're gonna do it with this hand. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Everything reminds me of you I can't take no more Girl, I think I'm losing my mind Try to go to work, but I lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you